everybody, it's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. Hope you're all doing well today. Today I have an 8 by 10 inch canvas. I'm going to be doing a bloom on it. And as you can see, I already have my base coat down that I'm tipping. And that is Lucite Semi-Gloss Interior House Paint. Just going to do a basic bloom here today. And I will go over my uh, color of my paints as we go along here. The first paint I'm using is going to be the Liquitex Basics Dioxazine Purple. And I will show you that. I will put my pouring medium recipe in the description box. I did use a combination of paint and uh, color art primary elements today. And here I am just putting down that purple, deciding how many flowers I think I want to make. And I am going with three. The second color I'm using, a really pretty uh, lavender color, that is the Color Art primary, primary Elements, and it's called Sweet Lavender. The third paint I'm using is again the Color Art Primary Element and it's two of them combined. It's the Indian Spice and Sunburst. I really do like using the combination of yellows and purples together. Thought that would brighten those flowers up. And the fourth color is again is a uh, color art primary element and it's called Mulberry. As you can tell, I am doing a voiceover on this video here today. The next color I'm using is Arteza, their Pearl Series, and this is the Pearl Gold Green. The next color I'm using is Amsterdam Prussian Blue. The next color I'm using is again the Arteza Pearl Line. And it is a pearl, pearl scarlet. I'm sorry, that's the Arteza pearl, pearl. Yes, that is the pearl scarlet it's called. And this color is, oh, this is the Pearl Scarlet, excuse me. This is the Pearl Scarlet. The one before that was the Pearl Green Blue. This is the Pearl Scarlet here. I will have all these colors listed in the description. And here I'm just taking my skewer and um, popping some of those larger bubbles. Here 
Here I am showing you my cell activator, which is three parts of the Australian Floetrol to one part of the Amsterdam Oxide Black. And here I am just using my real small uh, blow dryer to blow the cell activator over those paints. See what kind of um, cell action we get here. I really did like this combination of colors when I was all finished. They really played well together. Just drawing that cell activator over the paints as well as I can here. And here I go back a little bit and just um, put some air on that the center of those flowers to move that cell activator out a little bit. And here I decided that I needed a little bit more cell activator on this one flower, so I'm adding more here. Just working with the composition, pulling them out until I get it the way I like it before I spin it. These are very colorful. If you would have any questions or want to leave a comment, please do so. Here I'm just adding some more of my base coat, my house paint here, just to help the, the other paint flow when I start um, spinning it. Just touching up the sides, the corners there, making sure everything's covered. And here I am using a straw just to blow out the center a little bit to see if I can get that cell activator to move a little bit and give me a few more cells there. This is one of the more um, complicated type pores to do. 
I wouldn't suggest it for um, somebody that is just starting out with acrylic pouring. There are easier pours to do. So check my playlist for some of the easier pours. Here I'm just using my skewer to add a little bit of composition to these flowers. Just doing some twirls and drawing some of the paint out, making it look more like a flower here. This is really um, a fun, fun type of pour to do. And while I'm doing this, I can talk about my pouring medium. Um, it is two parts bare high gloss deep base, one part Minwax polycrylic, one part Josanya varnish. And I do mix that right with my tube paints. For the primary elements, first off, I just take a little dab of the Josanya varnish and add a scoop of the primary element to make it a liquid form. And then I do add my pouring medium. And I would say I added about, uh, probably about an ounce of pouring medium to just a little, uh, a little squirt of the tube paint that I used and a little squirt of the Arteza uh, Pearl line that I used. And the rest were the primary elements. And again, all of that I will put in the description. And here I am still working with my skewer, just getting happy with the composition before I start uh, spinning it out. And I do hope this does not make you dizzy. You can see right away how these flowers are getting pulled out After every spin, I am looking at the composition, spinning it the opposite way, being mindful of keeping on the canvas what I want to keep on. And here we are for our close-up. And this is the upper left-hand corner. And you can see how these colors really did play well together. I was really happy with the results. I will take you over the whole painting here. Just going down the left-hand side. And then over towards the middle here. And this is the upper right hand corner here and we're just going down the right hand side. And this is the lower right hand corner. So let me know what you think of this video and give me a thumbs up if you like it. Make sure you share it. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so to help my channel grow. Until next time, bye for now.